This is part four of our series on reports in databases, particularly Microsoft Access, and we're going to be looking at how we can do a specific report. Whenever you do a report based on a table, it will include all the records for that report. Now, what happens if I only want specific records? Well, then I'm going to have to do a report based on a query. So let's take a look at this example. Let's say we've got a report based on all the records in the TBL data table. And there on the right hand side, there you can see the city. Now the last two letters of the city indicate its state. So for example, Texas would be TX and so on. Maybe I want only the fields that are in Texas. So in other words, I want all those where the state, the last two letters are a TX. And not only that, I want all those where the division is a C. So I want all those in division C of Texas. That's a very specific report that I want. But how can I do that? Well, I could do groupings and that could be quite complicated, but then I've got everything in that in that report. I just want to report with just that data. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to have to create a query first. And then once I've done a query, I will base the report off of the query. So let's go look at the query. Let's, so for those of you who don't know how to do queries, go look at our query series and how to do it. And so there on the right hand side, we can see the city is like star TX. In other words, all those fields that end in the letter TX. Again, if you're not too sure what that means, go watch our videos on like and wildcards in our query series. And I also want to make sure that the division is the division C. So there we go. If I run that query, I will get a specific set of results and then I can save that query. Once you've saved the query, now I can go and create the report using the create wizard. And then I will get something like this. And remember when you start, you want to base it off a particular table query. Make sure that you select the query that you just created. And in that way, you can create a report which has only specific results. So let's go do an example. Let's go create. First of all, we must go create a query first. We're going to use query design and we're going to base it off of TBL data. So there we go. So what do I want? Now also I can specify what fields I want in my in my report by specifying which fields I want over here. So I want this, I want the surname first and then I want the name. And then I want maybe I want to see if they're married and I want to see their city and I want to see their division, for example, and their contact number. Now in this one, let's, let's do something different. Let's say I want to find all those that are married in the state of Texas. So in that case, I want the married field to be true. And I want wait, the last two letters are a T and an X. So that is TX, no, star TX. Star means anything and then the TX. And it will put the like in that end for me. So there we go. So this is a query that says all those in Texas that are married. So let's run it. So there you can see all those that are in Texas that are married that are married. Okay, so if I want to do a report based on just this information, that is great. I'm happy with my query. I'm going to make sure that I save it. So I'm going to save it as QRY uh, married in Texas. Okay, so that's my query. Click OK. Now, if I come here to queries, I've just hidden them. I'm going to select them. There's all the queries you've done in the previous videos. There you can see my married in Texas query. So it is there. So I can close this query and now I'm going to go create a report using the report Harry Potter, I mean wizard, and I'm going to base it off of query married in Texas. And so now I've got all the fields that I want. I can select them all. I can still say, no, I don't want a particular field to be there, but you can do it here. And I go next and you just follow the, the details. Maybe you want it grouped by something you can. Maybe I want it grouped by division. So there we go. And then go next and follow all the instructions. I want it sorted by surname. Next. Yes, yes, yes. Keep it all then. And then we're going to call this a report. And we'll call this the married in Texas report. Married in Texas. And go finish. And so then I'll end up with this report. And there you can see I've only got, it's a very small report. There's not much information. It's just those people that are married and that are in Texas. And there I can see all those in Division A, all those in Division B, all those in Division C. So there's a very specific report. Obviously, it's not showing me all the information. You will then, like we've done in previous videos, go to the design view and just make it a bit bigger and just play around with the fields so that they can all fit in. But there we go. So there is how you create a report that doesn't have all the information from the table, but only specific information. For more videos in the series on access and reports and other forms of things that you can do in access, as well as Excel videos, go to our YouTube channel, 
click on the subscribe button, like our videos, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.